Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. No, I've been gone for a little while, but today we got a product review of, yes, the Arturia Drum Brute Analog Drum Synthesizer. Yes, I, I know, nice. Anyway, Arturia was kind enough to send me a review copy of this to check out, review it, and demo it for you guys and make beats with it, something like that. So I want to talk about it first before you see me making videos when black, like, what is that? You know, because we won't hear that. But basically what this is, is an analog drum synthesizer, meaning it is fully analog, meaning it's, it is straight analog synthesis going on to produce these drum sounds, which is cool. You have 17 sounds, you have 12 pads, and you have a sequence server built into it with filters and pattern repeats and all that, uh, pattern repeats and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'll definitely go into how to do all that when we take a closer look at it. Um, also, you have uh, song, bank, and pattern mode, so you can definitely you can make a full arrangement in this, which is great. You have, like I say, the 16 step sequencer, which can go up to 64 steps, which is pretty cool. Um, like I said, you have a note repeat, you have swing, random and all that kind of good stuff. You have a metronome, but it's very cool. It comes with kits, claps, snares. Like I said, we'll take a, a more in depth look into it when I switch closer. Um, just kind of give you a little overview right now. But let's just talk about the ins and outs uh, first. Um, on the back, I will definitely have to make closer screenshots to this so you can see see the whole back panel but it has it comes with your power set your power comes with usb you have midi in and out you have uh clock in and out so if you have modular gear you want to sync it up to other uh analog gear you can sync it up that way which is real cool this is the part that i was not expecting but um it's pretty cool is you have individual outs for each song so that takes this fairly inexpensive drum machine and makes it more of a professional drum machine um like i said it just has it's, it's this is probably one of the cheapest drum machines on the market but just with the feature set makes it a more professional drum machine then you have your main out and you have your headphone you have quarter inch and you have the um the smaller one so it don't matter what kind of headphones you're using you don't need no adapter you can plug it in you have a, a level button for your um your headphones which is pretty cool so like i said if you on the go or you're just making stuff on the fly you can you know do it that way um like i said for the price point it's great i mean it's uh it's four i think it's 450 if i'm not mistaken or 40 444.99 whatever you want to call it um so it's very inexpensive compared to a lot of other analog drum machines but just because the the stuff you get into it and the you know what you get out of it makes it pretty great for the price like i said um, so yeah, we're gonna take a closer look at it, play some of the sounds, and go over all the features of it, and then give you my final verdict on this uh, drum machine. See if this is right for you, or should you just avoid it altogether? Because it has its place for some people, and it has its place not with others. So let's get a closer look at this, and yeah, let's listen to how this thing sounds. All right, now we're back, and now we're gonna take a look and listen to the sounds and just a little quick overview of the rest of the parameters and stuff like that. So like I said, um, let's go to the top part. So you have your transport controls with your tempo and tap tempo, which is pretty cool like that, and, we, and it goes pretty high on that. Um, you have record, stop, pause, play. You have your sync, which allow you to either sync it to the internal BPM of the um, drum brute, the USB MIDI, or a CV clock. Like I say, if you got modular gear or other synthesizers that you want to sync it up to. You have your copy, erase, and your, um, your sequence length um, uh, selection right here. You can select the last step and edit it and you can save. Also, you can save the patterns and steps and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. So I say you can have up to six, up to 64 steps in a sequence. And that's interesting. You can kind of go page up, page down with that by holding shift, which is very cool. Um, you have your song, bank, and pattern mode. So you can switch between the different modes. And then you have step and seek and uh, accent. Now, accent is basically like different variations of velocities, as you can, as you would say, for um the different steps so you can add different velocities and different note hits so that's pretty interesting right there you have all uh, your 16 steps pads right here so you can sequence it in like press it in like a regular drum machine an old school drum machine you have your filter section which has a high pass and low patch which is switchable by this button and it's a steiner parker filter which is arturia's 
own design, I think, if I'm not mistaken, is their own design filter, which is on their Arturia Mini Brute, Micro Brute, and Matrix Brute. So it's the filter that, if you know those filters, or listen to those, same filter in here. You have a resonance knob and a bypass button. You have your master volume, of course. You have uh, your pat pattern effects, which is pretty cool. So you have your swing, um, and you also have a button to change between either globally or just the current track or the current sound that you're on. You have a randomness knob, which adds random uh, steps or random uh, sounds in different areas, and it just does it randomly. So that's pretty cool to have. And like I say, you can do it globally or in the track. You have your note repeat right here, which is a step repeat, which is basically like just like I said, like a it's a step repeat. It just repeats however fast you want to do, which is great for if you're doing like them. Um, trap hi hats or anything like that if you're recording sound by sound you can kind of you know do some stuff like that and get some cool repeats going on that way um you have your metronome turn it on and off and if you hit play you can turn the volume so now you're hearing the metronome which you know is what is probably loud as hell so sorry about that um yeah uh, so let's go to the sound. Uh, you have a mute solo and the shift to do like various things if you see like a blue wording under you can hold shift and do that uh, so also, let's say this is a polyrhythmic drum machine. So that means all the sounds can be played at once, which is pretty cool. So you can have, you know, every sound playing. So you don't have, you're not just limited to one sound. So let's go through all the sounds now. First off, we're gonna start with you get two flavors of kicks. You have kick one, which is basically a 909 kick. Kinda 909. Got It's got an Arturia feel to it, but it's basically modeled after 909. Um, you have pitch, decay, impact, and sweep. So as I'm playing the sound, here's like 909 ish um you can change the pitch make it lower high change the decay make it just kind of short or long you got impact which adds a click to it as you hear that click so that's what that's what it's not really impact out you know but it's more of a click noise and you got a sweep so there's that Next, you have kick two, which is basically a 808, 808, a rolling 808 type of uh, sound. So you hear, like, you got the pitch and decay. So you can make a really punchy type of kick or the classic 808 sound. I wish it had more decay to it, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. It is what it is. So yeah, more decay would have been a lot better for this in my opinion um next up you have a snare and you could change the level of the snap you change the decay and the tone and then the, the drum tone so it's a pretty good um sound right there like i said it sounds like an 808 type of snare um but it is what it is then you got a clap and you have decay and tone. Which, you know, kind of reminds me of an 808 type of clap. So yeah. Pretty good, it's pretty nice, uh, pretty nice clap. Next you have the rim and the clave. So you have the rim. You can change the rim tone. And you can change it to a clave. But you can only change the volume when you change to a clave. Um, next up, you have the closed hi hat and hi, uh, open hi hat. They're kind of similar. So if I kind of set them to the same, the same parameters, close as I can. The open hi hat is a little bit more open, but they're almost identical. But the one thing that makes them good or different is the fact that the closed hi hat can actually choke the open hi-hat so if you play it if you play a close hi-hat right after the open hi-hat it would actually choke it and uh, cut it off so pretty cool there next you have the open toms the low tom and the low conga and the high tom and the high conga uh, you can switch between them by just hitting type right here so here's the congas you got high then low, you can change the pitch, and you can turn the toms. 
And the one thing I like about the low tom is if you pair it with the kick too, and see, I, I can play both of them at the same time. Get a nice beefy kick, bring them both down low, bring the pitch down low on both of them. You, you can kind of get a really good punchy kick that way if you want to get a little more, you know, knock in your system. Next, you got the cymbal, and you got decay and tone. So decay and tone. It's kind of like an 808 type of symbol, and you need you can switch it to a reverse symbol, and you can mess with the K on it, so make it super long or super short. There you go, and then you have the maracas and the toms, the tambourines, I mean, and you can you can't change nothing with the maracas, which is here in markers right now, but the tambourines you can change the decay of them. And then you have a zap or a laser. So, so if your video game sound design, there you go. So let's program a little sequence real quick and then uh, play with some of the, the pattern effects and then give me my final verdict. So I'm just going to program a simple little pattern, 91 beats. You see that red one right there? That's an accent note. So you can switch the accent and kind of. And it gives like a little bit of a bounce right there. So, and then. Okay, so now we got a basic little pattern going on. So now we can play with the, the step repeat. So. There you go. My bad. I had to change the step. Oh, change the record off. Had it on record too. <laughs> it's tripping. All right, here we go. Are oh, you here? You know, you can do some cool, like, repeat stuff right there. So that's good. Um, now we can add some swing to it, so we'll go to my maracas and add some swing. So hit current track and then now it's getting a little laser, add a little swing to the rim shot, the, the clave. And then, how about to the hi hat, the closed hi hat? We're gonna add some randomness so you can see. Well, actually, we'll do it to the global so you can hear it on everything. So he's just adding random notes. He's just adding in random notes at will. So it's pretty cool. Turn that off. Play with the filter. So we'll unbypass it and we'll use the the, uh, the low pass filter first. So and just filter out some of them. Add some resonance. This is cool stuff like that. Turn the resonance back down. Now we turn to a high pass filter. And cut the cut the lows out. So and then bypass it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, you can solo stuff, so you can solo. You can mute. If you click mute, and then you be like, I want to mute my tambourines, my tambourines, mute my claves, mute the drums, or you know. Which is pretty cool. I like, said, so if you're doing like performance and stuff like that, you can really get crazy and, and groovy and stuff with it. So, yeah, like I said, add global swing. Now, that old school bounce to it. 
So yeah, there it is right there, the Arturia Drum Brew. Um, who do I think this is for and who I think will just benefit for? Like if you're doing like dance, techno, house, um, old school hip hop type stuff or, or sample based stuff, this is a great product. Um, it's not a sampler, so you know, you can't put sounds into it. You got to work, you know, it's analyzed, it's making its own sounds. You have to work with it. So if you think this is a sampler, like an MPC or a machine or something like that, don't even pick it up. Just avoid it completely. But if you're looking for an analog sound to your, like I said, hip hop, dance, techno, house, EDM, whatever, this is perfect. But the features, you got, you know, 17 different sounds. You can play them all at once. You got great features, step sequencers, repeater. You got step stuff. I mean, and plus you have individual outs. So you can individually send the stems out to your DAW and mix them down that way. Um, and like I said, for live performances, this is great. Like if you're, if you're doing live stuff with other good like keyboards and stuff like that, this is great to have. Um, and for the price, I mean, four fifty, which is extremely cheap. Not too expensive, but not too cheap. But it's very well priced for the sound quality you get plus the feature set you get and that's the main thing is the features plus the sound and the price makes this probably one of the best drum machines out there if you look for analog drum machines for starters unless you go find like an older one on ebay or something like that which you know could have problems or something like that you know and like i said this is greatly it's well built it's not a small unit real wood on the side so you know i mean they really put a lot into this and I'm going to be using it for a bunch of my productions and you'll be seeing me making beats with it, especially coming soon. So definitely subscribe to see me making beats with it, like hip hop and lo-fi hip hop. Cause I do do that. Um, and yeah, overall it's a great unit and I love it. And I want to thank uh, Arturia for sending me a copy of the review. Um, definitely going to be using this and having fun with it. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, thumb it up. If you got any more questions, leave them in the description below. If there's anything I missed or you got questions about anything, I will hang around the comments and answer your questions um, the best of my ability or knowledge. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed like always. It's your boy Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different, with another video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.